Humans of the Cardboard, welcome back to Just Nuts, guys. Today, we're doing a really fun discussion video. We're kind of in this weird point in Yu-Gi-Oh! where we just got a lot of reveals uh, for like the end of a core set, and now we're going to be in kind of a lull where we don't get a ton of news for a little bit as far as new cards. Small stuff here and there, Legendary Duelist Fire reveals, um, Animation Chronicle reveals, but other than that, we'll probably be waiting for the next core set reveals to start up. And so right now, we're also waiting for Sayak at the end of the week, but uh, might as well have a fun discussion video in the meantime. So I want to talk about this archetype that, you know, I've always liked aesthetically, but I've never loved the play style and it never felt that it was quite good enough, you know, to really try and play on any competitive level. But we're talking about tunes here. Very cool archetype that has relevance in the anime. Um... You know, one of the most popular characters, especially especially from DM, uh, Pegasus, you know, playing the tune archetype in, you know, some of the early seasons of the anime is really, really cool. But uh, today I want to do a discussion video talking about what Yu-Gi-Oh! monsters could and should be turned into tune monsters in the future. We got tune support, what was that, like two and a years ago? Maybe a little longer than that? Somewhere between two and three years ago in that Battles of Legend, I think it was. Was it Battles? No, no, it was his own uh, set, Tune Chaos, sorry. Um, and when we did, we got a whole new slew of monsters, like, uh, Black Luster Soldier and stuff like that. Um, and so there's a lot of iconic monsters that have been used already, but there's also a lot of iconic monsters that have not been used at all yet, uh, yet and I think that's kind of crazy. So today we're going to talk about some of the best monsters that should be turned into Toon Monsters. There's a couple criteria that make the most sense here for really talking about what has a chance and what would make sense has to be an anime relevant uh, character archetype whatever they've already set the precedent by making toon cyber dragon that it doesn't even have to be from dm only if we were talking dm only then like this list would get way way shorter but since they've made cyber dragon they have opened the door for pretty much anything as long as it's probably anime canon to be viable to be uh, thrown onto this list so let's get into it Starting off here, it's Wing Karibo. Um, this should be no surprise to anyone. Um, this card is like, arguably like the mascot other than Dark Magician for Yugi. Well, not Wing Karibo, regular Karibo. Um, and then Jaden Yugi as well, the protagonist in the second series. So, um, you know, him being, you know, so important story-wise. And, and he's not even that important, but he, he just comes up left and right. You just see him all the time. Very popular, very cute character. Um, this one makes sense, right? Um, which would be really cool. And one thing I do love about Toons is that they just take all these random, like, popular monsters from, like, different super popular characters in the anime, and then they work towards the archetype. Like, they're just generic good cards for the archetype, and they all kind of mishmash together. I think, like, Toons actually do have, they have a lot of search cards, they have a lot of, uh, they have a couple of decent, um, you know, utility cards here and there uh, if they really got the support to tie it all together it could be such a cool mishmash deck where you're just like what i just got Cy toon cyber dragon to break my board with a contact fusion he, he summoned a you know karibo rota monster and searched out another card in his deck and like popped off like i just think there could be such a cool deck here if they really tied it together um in a way that was like fair enough right that's that's where you draw the line that's where you have to kind of walk the line and try to balance everything because toons are one of those archetypes that they make support too out of hand it could be really broken with like their ability to attack directly and everything so we'll see uh, but yeah, Karibo definitely goes on there. Gaia the Fierce Knight. I mean, they have, I believe, uh, Black Luster Soldier and Buster Blader. So like Gaia the Fierce Knight is kind of like the third guy in that kind of trio of very similarly like prophesized monsters in the Yu-Gi-Oh lore. Um, he definitely makes sense to me. Celtic Guardian's another one. They have Little Mermaid as a tune card, right? Like what? What? Why her? Ryu Ran? Why him? This one actually makes sense. Everyone who watched the original series knows Celtic Guardian. He is one of Yugi's favorite monsters. He summons him all the time, even when he gets cards that are just way better than Celtic Guardian. He still chooses to play him, even though he's like way worse than the rest of his cards. But it makes sense. We all know him. We love him. It'd be really cool. It'd be almost be like a little Toon Link kind of situation. Uh, Magnet Warriors. This is another one of just like Yugi's little archetypes that like he uses in his own stuff. There's a ton of stuff you could kind of draw. If you're going to throw these in there, you could throw Burfamet and, you know, um, Gazelle and the Chimera, right? You could throw in, you know, his love silent magicians and all this stuff. There, there's so many cards you go into off this one, but I do think the Magnet Warriors are a little more relevant than a lot of those other ones. So I have them here. Uh, Exodia. 
Exodia is a weird one, just because like most Exodia cards, even the non exactly the original Exodia, like they have some kind of FTK type situation, like alternate win condition situation. So I don't know if you want to make an Exodia that doesn't have that, because that kind of breaks a little bit of the lore. But if we're just talking like monsters everyone knows, monsters from the anime that they want to just would just be cool to make them in tune form, Exodia definitely fits the bill for sure. Uh, and then you have the Egyptian gods. Again, huge anime cards used by Yugi, used by a lot of different popular characters in the anime. Like, why not? This would be cool to see like chibi forms of uh, the three uh, the three Egyptian gods. Plus, you know, it's you know it's Pegasus stuff. So uh, he loves you know making some of his famous cards. So I don't know. I could see that. That could definitely be a cool one. All right, so I think now we move off of Yugi. Here's two little Joey options as well. Time Wizard. My only thing with Time Wizard is he's already so cartoony that, like, how do you make Time Wizard more cartoony? I'm not even sure. Um, but, you know, he's still a classic monster. Everybody knows Time Wizard fits the bill that way. Flame Swordsman is other one. And this is where we get a little bit weird because Toons have no extra deck monsters whatsoever. My idea was, like, what if they went into... Uh, kind of that mechanic of like Thunder Dragon where they're able to cheat out Colossus by just tributing uh, a Thunder Monster once they've met a certain criteria. What if they gave them one to two to three just tributable boss tune boss monsters in the extra that were fusions? It's fusion, so it still works with like the DM kind of feel of it. Um, but like you just have to have a certain tune monster on field and have to have met some kind of criteria. Maybe you have to have tune world on the field with a tune monster and then you contribute to summon them and they maybe one's an interruption, right? That could be something cool. That's a cool route they could go down to still maintain some of the extra deck monsters, um, you know, being in the extra deck or just port them over to the main. Just make more good tune monsters in the main deck. That's fine too. Neos. This is one of the biggest ones for me. We have Dark Magician. We have Dark Magician Girl. We have stuff from Yugi, but we have nothing from Jaded. We even have Cyber Dragon from Zane. They took Zane's boss monster, and they didn't even take the protagonist of of GX and give him anything yet. So I think Neos makes, makes more sense than anything. We even have Neos alias, like a Gemini form of Neos. So I think Tune would make a ton of sense. That would be really, really cool. I'd be curious to see what that would do um, there. That would be really cool. Ojama's another one. Just like such a, you know what I mean? They're so prevalent. Everybody knows Ojama's. They're just so famous in, in you know, throughout Yu-Gi-Oh! And in the fandom and stuff. The only thing, kind of like Time Wizard, they're already so goofy. How do you make them more toony? That's definitely a thing. But, you know, it's still Ojama's. Uh, then we move to some boss monsters. Again, kind of like Jaden, but a little bit lesser so because the characters kind of get a little bit, a little bit, a little bit less relevant as time goes on, kind of, just because, you know, the classics are the classic nostalgia and everything. Stardust, though, is a cool one, right? We already have Blue Eyes White Dragon. We have Red Eyes Black Dragon tune monsters. Throw Stardust in there. Give him main deck form or give him an extra deck form where you can get him out re relatively easily. That'd be cool. Red Dragon Archfiend. Just to a lesser degree, you know, but Jack Atlas is still a popular enough character where they could do this. But to be honest, he just kind of feels like Red Eyes 2.0. <laughs> so that's kind of like the weird part. Uh, you have Utopia. Same thing. Just main character, boss monster. Put him in the main. Put him in the, in the, in the extra as a new, you know, summonable card. It'd be cool. But not a huge deal. Odd Eyes Dragon. Again, another main character boss monster. And then we get to these. I think these are a little bit more interesting because I do think Firewall could kind of fit the bill pretty easily. They could even make like a Firewall, you know, Toon Firewall. And maybe it's just like a Link 2. Like it's a smaller form of Firewall that takes like two Toon monsters to make. Um, you know, so you still hold on to the, the Toon aspect of it. You still hold on to the fact that it is a... Uh, uh, it's a Link monster, and that's like the basis of this, you know, era of Yu-Gi-Oh. That could be something pretty damn cool. Um, and obviously, you could throw Code Talker in there, but to be honest, Code Talker's like, you know, way, thrown by the wayside by just how much better Firewall is as a card in general. So, yeah, but you could throw him in there as a, as a representative for Playmaker. Um, but yeah, that, that's pretty much it. I mean... Listen, the list, you can't go too far because it has to be anime monsters. It has to be monsters that are relevant enough to popular characters to kind of have even a, a chance here. But um, I think there's some cool ones that could definitely come through. Um, so here's my list. You know, 
definitely have fun with it. Let me know in the comment section down below if you think there's anything that I missed that might make a little bit of sense that definitely should have deserved to be on here in your opinion. I'd love to hear your thoughts on that, but just a fun one. I just think tunes are cool. It's one of those archetypes, heroes, you know, cyber dragon, dark magician, blue eyes. They're going to get support every couple of years just because it's Pegasus, right? He's, he's the first uh, antagonist to the show. So he holds a, you know, very specific, you know, like strong memory in a lot of people's minds so they like to keep coming back to him uh so i figured this video is a little bit of a fun one to throw out there even though i'm not even the biggest fan of of, of tunes i do think it's cool and i do think there is a world where uh we end up with with a really cool tune deck that's actually like legitimately interesting so there you go i'm out of here for today guys thank you so much for watching as always let me know your thoughts down below in the comments and i will see you guys in the next video peace